Um, hi everyone, my name is Shara, as you know, and yes, I am the founder of Fitness Freak. Fitness Freak is the easiest way to find and book a fitness class online. I came up with the idea from a previous job working with Top Table. Finding one of the 40,000 pay-as-you-go fitness classes in London per week should be as easy as it is to book a restaurant online. At the moment, there is not one consolidated platform where you can actually do this. We're trying to solve a solution for the consumer and the supplier. Fitness companies now have an online marketing channel and consumers have a fun discovery platform where they can instantly find a class they like in a local area and book. We also do have an event section, which is something that we offer to our clients for a fee and it's the workshops, the military mud runs and something a bit different that you'd like to do on your weekend. And lastly, we have a magazine which was actually built for a bit of fun. It gives our clients something extra on the social side. We have an undercover journalist. Um, her name is Booty Blogger. And like most women in the world, she's on a mission to get the perfect bump. And she's doing every fitness class she can to do so. So not only is she reviewing classes, but we're allowing our customers to review classes as well. Our users, primarily female, about 75%. They're working professionals, they're corporate travellers, they've got high disposable income and they're time poor. They may have a gym membership and like to do an additional workout on the weekend that they can't access, or they don't have a gym membership at all. Our suppliers are a mixture of clients. We work with the bigger guys. Obviously, we're trying to target the bigger guys, the David Lloyds, the Virgin Actives, the gym boxes. They're the boutique clients, which are the yoga studios, the CrossFit centres, and they're the tiny little people that teach Zumba classes for five pounds in church halls. And we've got over a thousand registered users and we're converting about 1% of them. In addition to this, we're doing some really exciting retail collaborations with the brands that you can see on the screen. Something I would like to talk to you about is Time Out, which is, I can officially talk about it today. Um, we've just done a deal with them so that they can access our API and list all their classes on their site, which is exciting because they've just launched the sports and fitness section. How do we make money? We take a commission for every booking that we make on the site. We charge subscription fees, we charge event listing fees, we make money for advertising. We have a revenue share deal with the software that we're integrated with, so we actually sell the software and we're producing our own. Our competition, everyone loves to know about competition. Of course, when I started this, I thought I was the first person doing it in the world, not the case. We have been the first ones to market in Europe. There's no currently a bookable service to, for fitness classes. There's lots where you can find, but no way you can book. That's really all I have to tell you, but I thought I'd finish it to, with a bit of music and show you a little video that we had from our soft launch event. Here we go, this is what we did for our launch party, which was at Google Campus in Tech Hub, where I'm actually based. And the thing is, we didn't pay for anything, everyone sponsored it. <laughs> I'm with Renat, which you can see from a physique, I'm clearly am. Um, and I want to advertise my services. Is there an option for me to do that? Yes, there will be in the future. It's an interesting market because a lot of people don't go to find personal training online. Exactly. They, they work with the word of mouth. We've currently got fitness instructor names on the site so you can see who's teaching them. We may profile that and then add a search function into it. What portion of the market is actually booking these classes and paying for them? We're not working with the bigger guys at the moment. The first big client we've signed is Gymbox and we're currently talking to David Lloyd. Three years ago, you couldn't join a gym uh, for longer than a year period, you had to sign a contract. Now, every single gym in the UK, except David Lloyd, you can join on a month by month basis. So it's our responsibility to try and sell them the fact that if we allow them to drop in rates for their customers for classes, they may have someone come to them and go, I love this gym, I'm just gonna pay a monthly fee but then we'll have a loyalty program and, and competitive prices that will retain the customer. It sounds like there's lots of different options for what yeah. you've, you've got to do. Have you got a, a kind of mini roadmap as to which ones you think will be the best ones to do it first? Um, absolutely. We, we want to create Fitness Freak memberships so you can buy a regional membership in a certain area of London and access 10 classes for a certain amount of money at the best studios, depending on what your interest is and whether they're packages of bride-to-be, post-pregnancy, and actually tailor those packages specifically to what you want. Gyms are giving a reduced first class or something like that away. And oftentimes, even when they do offers, they'll say, 
non-current customer base or something like that. So how does your system check for that or essentially if the businesses told you that it's okay if this was a prior customer and then they're getting it at a discounted rate? We, yeah, we'd like to offer discounted rates at the last minute. I mean, we want to be the platform where you stand outside your office and with your mobile and go, I've got an hour, give me a workout, where can I go? But um, it's a question of how we're going to negotiate with the bigger gyms that allow their members to drop in. But at the moment with Gymbox, they put on exclusive classes for us and they also allocate us spaces for their classes that they already know from their analytics that are not full. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.